Hello race fans and welcome to the Subway 250 here at Rockingham, North Carolina in the PWRL Wrangler Nationwide Series. Um, in for what should be an amazing race today, uh, actually tonight, let's go to your starting lineup. On the pole today we have Ryan Richards and then the 5 of David Burton. 18, or no, there's 60 of Callum Wiles, and the 18 of Aaron Williams. Jason Marshall, Jake Rogers, Liam Erbig, um, Wilhelm Schultz, t -t 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 I don't know the name yet, sorry, I don't, I'm still learning names, Tristan Anderson, Tristan Anderson, and Brandon Bain, Rounding out your top ten. Just want to uh, get this race green. So that, you know, race two is now underway. Oh, that's right, you guys can see the cursor. So they go down into turn number one, they go three wide. And I... I think... And one of them did not even make the start. That is Dustin Bullock. Now, I wonder... Is he just a DNS? Yep. Does not get the race started. Oh, oh, we got a problem. Trouble down the back straightaway. Caution is out the first of the year. Seth Cole is involved. Along with Connor Breton. Anybody else reckon? We got... We got, uh, William Duncan... And that 12 machine. Oh, oh, oh! Oh! What in the world just happened? Dylan Young. Some crazy things happening here in this first lap at Rockingham. Let's go back and take a look at what brought out the caution, and then this incident already under the caution. Stay tuned. <clears throat> Alright guys, you know how what they say, um, Rubin is racing. Uh, just slid up a little bit, a little bit of contact, and they go into the wall pretty hard. Uh, Breton and Seth Cole both, uh, okay and actually able to continue on. But now we gotta hurry up and there's William Duncan getting off. Now we gotta go to a quick pause. And look for these guys. Brandon Bain started in 10th. Let's take a look. Oh, he just he's just coming down. He does not give Dylan Young any room. Um, you know, they get together. Wow. A very Violent hit. And a, a very bad spot on the car. Uh. Um, Bane does not continue. Lights on the pace car are still on. So we will take you to the restart right after this. Lights are out on the pace car. Um, we'll go through top ten real quick. We got Ryan Richards, uh, Tristan Anderson, Liam Irvig, DJ Kirker, Tyler Young, Bryce Trivet, Eric Burton, Dion Scott, 
Troy Childers and Scott Layton. Um, today's race is being brought to you by Wrangler, um, the official sponsor of the Wrangler Nationwide Series, the PWRL Wrangler Nationwide Series. There's also a few other sponsors, but we'll get to those at other caution breaks and or race breaks. So, Ryan Richards leads him down. He's led every lap so far. Dylan Young has retired from the race, as has the 51 of Brandon Bain. Seth Cole off the pace, but still on the lead lap. These guys have a lot of speed that they're able to carry through here. And the 99 brushes the wall. That is Sam Young. He may have a tire down. He's drifting way high. Now I think what he's going to want to do is just get to the back and possibly get to the pits as fast as he can. And I thought, coming out of four, I thought this was a problem. It appears to me that they've gotten through it, though. This is such this is such a difficult racetrack. I mean, coming out of the corners, it just comes up so fast. I mean, the corners just end so abruptly at, at these speeds. You know, you can really drift up, and if you don't, if you don't have a hundred percent control of that car, you're gonna you could actually dr uh, drift up and smack the wall pretty hard. Sorry about that. Kyle Sosnowski having a good run so far. Well, maybe not too good. 29th position. William Duncan, we saw him go off course. Ricky Hawks side by side with Kevin Gerhardt. First caution of the year comes out um, in race number two, only a few laps in. That looked very sketchy back there. Oh, and we got a problem. Ricky Hawk around. Turn number three. Multiple cars are involved. I think that is DJ Kirker. No, that is DJ Becker. Do we have a caution? Yes, we do. Caution's out for the second time today. Anything else going on? Doesn't look like it. Ricky Hogg got turned going into turn number three. So, let's go back and take a look at how this all transpired. Alright, as they fly down the front straightaway, I rewound a little bit too far. So they're going to get actually four wide make a little bit of contact and there's just nowhere to go uh... Pichu and Hawk get together now quick pause it here I think Becker may be a completely different accident more or less evasive action oh the 41 went around, or got real loose, slid up the racetrack into the 81 of DJ Becker. Um, that also hurts the 05 of Joe Cole. Yeah, Andreas Allen, though, he's just going to get a little bit loose and um, slide up the racetrack. This otherwise would have been a single car accident. It was uh, slightly bigger than, than we thought it was. take a look at where the leaders are and what the pace cars lights are looking like. Is Liam Marvick the leader now? How did that happen? Pace car lights are still on, so we're just gonna go back and take a look. 
Alright, so right here he's in third, and the lapped car seems to have gotten in the way. Richards is just going to slide up a little bit. See, this isn't even live, and I'm still thinking they're going to crash. So this time, this time Liam Irvig moves up to second. I see the lapped car made the 38 of Tristan Anderson drift up, and that gave Irving the uh, room to run there. Lights are out on the pace car. So I suppose we can just kind of chill out here and uh, watch this. Um, today's race is also being brought to you by Nationwide. Nationwide is on your side. couple people have gotten into the wall out of uh, turn number two. I actually think that was the 99 of um, Sam Young. He made some heavy contact with the wall. Now Liam Irving to lead them down, although I don't know how well his lead is going to hold. We are damn near halfway through this race. Green flag, or Irving with an amazing start, but the 32 is holding right by. And this could give the lead back to Tristan Anderson. And look at Dion Scott back there. He's going to try to get into this. Right up on the bumper. Lays off a little bit through the corner. Three wide out of four. Oh, and uh, the 32 car. Dustin Bullock hits the wall. He smacked that wall out of turn number four. And that's just going to shake up the leader's picture. As I believe the 18 of Aaron Williams is going to go for the lead. Now at this point, the best driver, since there's not that lapped car, until we get another caution, the best driver has a shot to get out front and stay there. But it looks like Dion Scott's holding them up just a little bit. Irving restarted the leader. Is now back a little bit. Scott's actually pulling away. Field is starting to get a little bit more spread out. Dion Scott has lost the lead, and he's lost a lot more than just the lead. Let's go back and take a look at what what uh. Oh, he got running. He got up a little bit too high, and I was talking about this earlier. These corners will just close up on you. He's just gonna come out, smack the wall, and now Aaron Williams is your leader. Williams is pulling away quite a little bit, though. Not quite a bit, but a little bit. A couple tenths. He actually lost time on Anderson that time around. But you can't slide up and expect to be able to win. This is where you got to have an ideal racing line. And if you're going to take the lead or really make any pass, you got to take that line away. I'm just going to run through here. Whoa! 44, James McLeod, his bad luck is continuing. He hits the wall at a 4, or are we under caution? It looked like they were getting organized, so I 
you know, you know, the idea of caution came into my mind, but, alright, McLeod is the same deal as Scott, he's just gonna smack that wall real hard, we have a problem on the front straightaway, caution is out, something possibly to do with Corey Higginbotham, it does appear to be so, Oh, I see. Sorry for not editing this out. Hold on. <coughs> well, I'm deeply sorry for that. Now, let's take a look. So, what you're going to see here... Again, Botham's going to slide up. Oh! Just slides up, makes a little bit of contact. Well, a lot of bit of contact with the 19 car of uh, Connor Breton. And, um, quick 360 gets back going. Um, your leader, Aaron Williams. But this will be a down finger restart, which means no lapped cars will be on the inside. Let's take you to the restart. Alright guys, gearing up for the restart. T uh, nine laps to go. Sorry about that. Aaron Williams, your leader. Followed by Tristan Anderson. Uh, is that Luke or Leia? I believe that is Luke. Eric Burton. Bryce Trivet rounds out your top five. Green flag is in the air. We got less than 10 laps of racing to go. Who is going to take home this checkered flag here at Rockingham? Very historical racetrack, and it looks like Walker is going to go down and try to make a pass. Ooh, they're getting three wide for second back there. Oh! Anderson hits the wall. That was a hard lick coming out of turn number four. And that may have just made it a three car, a two car race. Three cars. Now Walker, Walker is right up on the back bumper of Williams. Is is Luke gonna be able to capitalize here? Excuse me one moment. And Luke Walker makes the pass on Aaron Williams, putting Walker into the lead. But I wonder, does Aaron Williams have a problem on his race car? A lot of people coming up real close to that wall. We got a problem. Corey Higginbotham just turned Scott Layton. Layton's going to hit the wall hard. Pace car is out. With only a few laps to go, though, will we get the race back green? Let's go back and take a look. Again, I'm sorry for not being able to edit this. I am damn near zero time right now. So, let's go back and take a look. Oh, the 70 got in his way, was off the pace. That's another crash for, I don't know if it's Corey or Cody, I want to say it's Cody. Or, but Higginbotham.
Oh, Williams. Williams hit the wall. Now we get to see if we'll get any racing action left in this race. Lights are still on. This is it. This is the finish. The caution came out. The race is over. Mm -hmm. Um, that is Luke Walker wins at Rockingham. Although I suppose the caution is still out. Here's your race results. Luke Walker, Eric Burton, Kevin Gerhardt, DJ Kirker, Aaron Williams, Tristan Anderson, Liam Erbig, William Duncan, Dion Scott, Wilhelm Schultz, Bryce Trivet, Dylan Poteet, Troy Childers, Chris Sanfer, Ryan Richards, Tina McCoy, David Burton, Leia Walker, Callum Wiles, Tony Blazer, Ricky Hawk, Jason Marshall, um, Austin Anderson, Kyle Sosnowski, Sam Young, Tyler Young, Joe Kinderman, Jordan Schumacher, Andreas Allen, Jake Rogers, Daniel Culp, Pichu Walker, James McLeod, Seth Cole, Joe Cole. I don't think there's any relation there. Um, no, there's not. Connor Breen, Cody, Corey, C C Corey, or Cody. Let's figure that out right now. Just Cody. Cody Higginbotham. DJ Becker, Dustin Bullock, Scott Layton, Brandon Bain, and Dylan Young rounds out your field. Congratulations to Luke Walker for getting his first win of the season. A crazy wreck filled race. Um, next race is at Las Vegas. Your points leader, Eric Burton. Then we've got Luke Walker. Uh, behind by 20 points. The only driver to lead in every race is Aaron Williams. And, um... He has led 25% of the laps so far of the season. Let's see if he can keep that streak going and get up front on another race. A lot of people saw the lead of Daytona. But... So, Eric Burton, Luke Walker, Tristan Anderson, Kevin Gerhardt, Ryan Richards, Bryce Trivet, Aaron Williams, DJ Kirker, Leia Walker, and Liam Erbig round out your top 10 in points. Thank you so much for tuning in. Like, comment, rate, subscribe, and all of that fun stuff.